All right, man, you got uh, six minutes. Do your thing. Let's go, Argel! How y'all doing today? My name is Argel. Um, does anybody work at Starbucks? <laughs> No, I'm not gonna Hey, shout out to Paolo, man. He's first, it's his first time doing this mine, so I'm kind of just like winging it. I didn't have anything set up, so... Uh, I'm gonna go with the whole Starbucks routine. <laughs> it's uh, so first time doing stand-up. I mean, it's obviously kind of hard. You know, Richard Pryor's son just performed right now. Uh, you know, beef stuff. It's kind of like doing, like, reggae, and then, like... doing a tribute to Bob Marley and Ziggy goes before it. So it's kind of... kind of sucks. <laughs> But, anyways, I'm kind of going through a problem right now. Uh, I actually used to be a really big guy. I used to be a uh, pretty heavy set dude. All my friends know it. I brag about it all the time. I almost used to be, uh, used to be uh, 300 pounds, and I lost over 100. Not to brag. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say I'm a pretty uh, into health and fitness and stuff like that. But, you know, it's not, it's not a trick thing what I thought I would want to do. Like, you know, I thought I would, I, I thought I'd be getting bitches, you know? <laughs> but it's not, it's, it's kind of attracting the whole gay thing. It's cool. Uh, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's flattering. It's definitely like, very flattering. I, I understand the whole woman thing when they get harassed. But, you know, props to women. You know, you guys get hit on all the time. And, you know, I get hit on all the time. <laughs> but, uh, it's okay. Like, see, here, I work out every day. Right? And I'll be doing squats and, you know, wearing my short shorts. Wearing my pink shirt, salmon. <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd be getting, I thought I'd be getting like, oh, like girls walking by, like, ooh, you know. But it's guys going like, ooh. <laughs> so, like, I remember this guy came up to me and said, hey man, you look, you look very familiar. I see you, like, I know I see you somewhere. And you know, I mean, obviously in my head, like we go to the same gym every fucking day. So I kind of gave him an idea. He's like, oh, so what's your name? And you into like. You only hit legs. Your form is really good. Can I see it really quick? And here, Mike, I'm being stupid. I didn't know. I was like, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's like, oh, like how do you do you keep your chest like just out? Oh well, yeah, I try to chest out. I don't want to round my back. Do it again. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> how heavy can you go? I don't really go heavy. Go for the aesthetics, but I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I mean, it's not only guys that do. I mean, I do get occasionally like every every other girl hit on me. It's never like it's never a good one. But I mean, it's still flattering, so I still kind of go with it, kind of roll with it. Uh, I, I started I started seeing this one girl like, last year, and but she was cool. Typical stereotypical ABG. Uh, ABG. I don't know if you guys know. Only Asians know, I think. But ABG is like Asian Asian baby girl. And typical short Asian girl, you know, blonde hair. Probably Filipino or like the other hot Asian one. Filipino. Uh, yeah, Filipino. Works at Starbucks. Shout, shout out to you. Uh, but yeah, she was cool. I mean, we were playing Pokemon Go. Remember that game? Remember Pokemon Go? Yeah, fuck Pokemon Go, man. Anyway, it's a different topic. I didn't want to talk about that Pokemon Go. But uh, so yeah, I was dating this Asian girl and it was cool. I was kind of like stuck on my ex. But um, I was trying to move on and she was like, into some other shit, and this Pokemon, this Pokemon Go girl, you know, she, uh, tip, ah, I don't okay, so I ended a bit, and then, you know, she fell, like, head over heels for me, and I, we only went on, like, two dates, I won't brag, but, this face, all this weight that I lost, all the squats, I won't brag, look this up, there, there wasn't holes in these jeans, I guess, it's just all this right here. But uh, yeah, I ended it with her. So, oh, well, I mean, if it doesn't work, I, I completely understand. Like, you're, over, you're not over your ex, but if you need anyone to talk to, you need any advice, I'm always going to be here for you. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Weird, I barely know you, but that's sweet, right? And then um, two weeks later, she hit me up. Hey, do you want to wanna go to Grand Canyon? I was like, no. Yeah, but um, hold on, I don't want to make this up. I'm not, I'm not mean like that, you know? So we, uh, I say no to Grand Canyon, the next day I go to Zion. You know, I'm being, I'm being a fuckboy on Snapchat, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm like, who wants to go to Zion? You know, I'm going to Zion tomorrow if anyone wants to go. Come through. Guess who replies first? Typical ABG. So she's me up here, oh, see you there. I'm like, oh, LMAO, that's funny. And then I go to Zion, first time, uh, driving to Utah. Hey, where, uh, which, which trail are you going? Uh, the Narrows? Why? Oh, see you there. I'm like, oh, 
That's hilarious, LMAO, right? Oh. And then I'm there, and she's like, okay, where you at? <laughs> oh, thank God for Utah's no signal. Thank you, that was great. <laughs> yeah, man. One, oh, got one minute left. Um, does anybody, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but, uh, I'm kind of going through this whole, let's see, the, this whole gay thing and this whole metrosexual thing, I think it's cool. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why people have a problem with it. Just because I get my eyebrows threaded, I wear tight clothes, ripped jeans, I get labeled. <laughs> right? I think, I think men can, I can, see, I, I can do manly stuff, I got that pointy beard thing. How many fucking men do that? Okay, that's not a good example. <laughs> but I'm saying, at the end of the day, you know, don't show anybody your squad if it's a dude. And I want to appreciate you guys for uh, letting me do my first stand-up. And uh, hopefully I can do some more. Thank you.